What's going on guys, my name is Austin Zayback and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can start an ATM business for literally free, okay? For free. For free! I literally mean like actually free, zero dollars out of your pocket right now. Uh, I'm gonna bust the myth on how everybody says that you need all this money to start an ATM business. Now, I know what you're thinking, there's no way you can start an ATM business or any business for that matter for free and make passive income every single month on the month. That doesn't make any sense in Austin. It has got to be too good to be true. Well, I'm here to tell you that you just plain and simple have not been listening to the right people your whole life if that is what you believe in. Now that was me not too long ago. Uh, not too long ago, I was actually sold the dream on the 40-40-40 plan and uh, if you're watching this, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about and maybe your parents or your grandparents or whoever probably, uh, they told you to do the exact same thing and what I mean by that is go to school, get good grades, right? Graduate, build a resume, uh, maybe go to school again, go to college, right? Get good grades again, graduate, build a resume, beg somebody to hire you you, work 40 hours a week for 40 years of your life and retire on 40% of your income. And, and, and that's what I was taught, right? And that's what I lived by. I, I got out there and I started doing it and it just wasn't for me. You know, in, in my mind, that was, that was just, I was just existing, right? I wasn't actually living. And uh, I'm going to show you how you can live for a living. In order to do that and in order to break out of that um, cycle, right, to, to go out and to actually create things, to, to build businesses, I had to get creative, right, because, because yeah, sure, a, a lot of different companies out there, there's real estate and there's so many different industries that it costs money to make money, right? You've heard that saying, you're watching this, it costs money to make money and although that is definitely true, you know, somewhere along the way, somebody had to start uh, with, with not a lot of money and ultimately make a lot of money, right? Not everybody had a lot of money, right? So, you know, how are you actually able to do that? And the answer is very simple, but you do have to get creative. The ATM business is one of those businesses that you can get in with no money. I'm gonna show you how, I'm gonna literally show you three steps, how you can get into the ATM business with zero dollars and how you can make a ton of money. But really quick, um, what we don't want you to do is use ATMs like everybody else, right? And what I mean by that is most people, they go to the ATM, they pull out 20, 40, 60 dollars and they pay anywhere from three to five dollars in surcharge fees, never actually realizing who's profiting off that transaction. A, a lot of people think it's a bank, it's, it's well Fargo, it's Bank of America, it's Chase. And, and the reality of it is only about 50% of the time is that the case. The other 50% of the time, somebody just like you or me is actually the one profiting off of that three to five dollar surcharge fee. There's actually about 425,000 privately owned ATMs in the United States alone. People literally just like you and I, every single day are making passive income off of, again, people like you and I that are going and getting our hair cut at a barber shop, pulling out 20 or $25 out of an ATM and paying a four to $5 surcharge fee. No more rambling, let's jump right into it. Way number one to get an ATM. Now, uh, again, you know, this is after you've already found the location, right? You found the location, you've done your prerequisites to getting in the business. All very, very simple. Um, and, and I've definitely made videos on my YouTube as well for that stuff. If you have not seen them already, go check them out. But way number one is to leverage a company called Cardtronics, okay? Now, I actually have never done this. I'll be completely transparent with you. Um, however, I have friends that have done it many, 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 many times. And uh, my direct mentor in the ATM business owns 3,000 ATMs and is actually um, good friends with uh, a lot of the guys over there at Cardtronics. Now, what is Cardtronics? Cardtronics is essentially a company, you reach out, you talk to a salesperson, and they will actually lease you an ATM or rent you an ATM, depending on the location. It's gonna be a good, high quality ATM. They will lease or rent to you the ATM, essentially for free, upfront, right? Zero dollars, and you pay on the back end, right? You pay in the rear, and they just take a percentage of the transaction.
transaction, okay? So that's how the ATM actually ends up getting paid for. So you're actually not spending any money upfront on the ATM. Now, uh, again, I'll put a link uh, to their website in the description down below. I've never personally used them, but a lot of people have, and they're actually one of the biggest um, companies in the world that, that does this type of thing for privately owned um, ATM business owners. Understand you can reach out to them and for free, they will hook you up with an ATM. Now, you're probably wondering where can I um, you know, get the cash to fill the ATM? There, there's different options, but in this particular scenario, you could actually convince the owner of the business to load it with their cash. Now, uh, very simple to do, right? A lot of these businesses are cash heavy businesses and at the end of the day, they've gotta go to the bank anyways to make a deposit. So rather than doing that, they can just put the money in the bottom of the ATM. It will direct deposit via ACH to their bank account and uh, it's, a, it's a total win-win for everybody. Now in this scenario, you probably do like a 50-50 split with you and the business and then of your 50%, uh, Cardtronics is gonna probably take 50 or 75 cents or maybe even a dollar of that surcharge, right? But but again, you're essentially making a dollar or a dollar fifty or even two dollars every time somebody uses that ATM for free, right? Just for getting creative. Option number two is to leverage credit, get a credit card, and use your credit card to actually purchase the ATM itself. Now, an ATM costs anywhere from about $2,000 to $5,000, but I would say $2,500 is probably a pretty reasonable amount uh, for just your average ATM. That's if you buy it brand new, obviously, and, uh, and, and get it installed and things like that. Now, there's installers all over the world. Uh, it only costs maybe $100 or $200 to get the actual ATM uh, installed. Okay. Let's just take a step back really quick, right? Using a credit card to get an ATM. Now, obviously, you've got to get a little bit of good credit to get the credit card, okay? And there, there's a ton of other videos on YouTube talking to you about how to actually build um, your credit, right? But let's just say you have a credit card. The limit is $3,000. You put a $2,500 ATM on the credit card. Now, there's many credit cards out there where you actually have 0% interest for 12, 18, or 24 months, meaning that you're actually not gonna pay any interest and all you have to do is make the minimum payment on that credit card for the next 12, 18, or 24 months. And I'm gonna show you exactly how, uh, using strategy number two, you can actually pay that credit card off in full in four to six months. So you get a credit card, you buy an ATM on your credit card. Now what? Well, like scenario number one, you convince the owner of the location to fill it with their cash. Now, you're splitting the surcharge 50-50 with the owner of the location. Now, you might be able to work the terms a little bit better in your favor. It all does just depend and everything is negotiable, which is why we're going to get creative. Let's just say, for example, uh, your ATM surcharge was $4, right? Now, uh, let's just say again, for example, you got 10 transactions, aka 10 people a day used your ATM. That is $40 per day times 30 days is actually $1,200 per month. Okay, now let's just say uh, for easy math, you're making 50% of the total surcharge. That is $600 a month, pure profit to you. Right? So you put a $2,500 machine, piece of equipment, on your credit card. Now, you install it in a location, literally the day after, or a few days after, maybe a week after. Right? The owner of the location fills it with their cash. Right? You don't have to put any additional cash into it. And you're now making $600 a month in profit. Now, if you take that same $600 and you start paying off your credit card, right, in a matter of four months, your credit card is completely paid off. Let's just say it does five transactions or 20 transactions. You can just adjust the math to figure out how long it's gonna take to pay off your credit card. Now you own the ATM outright and you can just essentially uh, rinse and repeat the process and go ahead and do it two, three, four, five, or even 10 times until now you're making anywhere from three to $600 a month or, or maybe even upwards of that. Um, you know, literally for the next five, 10, 15, 20 years of your life, and it's just essentially passive income, okay? All right, way number three to get an ATM for free is the finder fee method. Okay, now what in the world are you talking about, Austin? I'll tell you what I'm talking about. And what I'm talking about is this, is to get very creative, right? Provide value in a different way. Now, what I mean by that is there's a lot of people, a lot of business owners out there, and they might be in your state, it might be a different state, it might be a different country, okay, that they, they need an ATM, and they don't really understand how the business model works, and although it is very simple, they don't think 
that it is, right? They overcomplicate it, okay? So essentially what you can do is just be there, be their person to kind of hold their hand and walk them through the process, right? To to essentially schedule the, the guy that's gonna go out and actually install the ATM, to provide the ATM up front, right? So they're actually buying the ATM, but you're providing all the knowledge, all of the resources. Maybe they even pay you directly and you purchase the ATM for them, right? You're getting it shipped. You're getting it installed. You're getting it programmed, right? You convince them to load it with their cash because again, they're a cash heavy business. That'll get direct deposited into their bank account anyways. You tell them that you're actually gonna pay the network fees, the processing fees, and you know, anytime it breaks or anything like that, you're gonna load the receipt paper um, and you're gonna essentially maintenance the ATM and be there um, for one-on-one -on -one support whenever they need it. Now, uh, for, for such support, you're gonna get paid anywhere from 10 to 20% of the surcharge, right? So not a big dollar amount, but again, you're not doing anything other than spending a little bit of time uh, and now you actually own a part of that ATM. It'll show up in your back office and you're gonna get to see every time somebody uses that ATM, you're gonna be making a small percentage of that surcharge, right? For example, if you were making 50 cents every time somebody used the ATM, I, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but again, if people were to use it 10 times a day, that means that you're making $5 a day times 30. Right? It essentially means that you're making $150 per month in passive residual income for just spending a little bit of time. You never have to do anything and uh, ATMs basically never really break down. Receipt paper, you might load every six to 12 months. Um, for the most part, as you probably know, you never get receipts when you're at an ATM. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, drop in the comment section down below. Make sure you like and subscribe um, to the video to watch more videos in the future. Uh, if you have any video ideas, definitely let me know and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.